it's Evelyn here. Welcome back to the channel. And a really sleepy Luna. Are you tired today? Yeah. I hope I find you all well, my friends. Once again, a huge thank you to every single one of you for supporting this little creativity corner of the internet. I'm really happy to be back creating here on YouTube and I'm happy to say that my recovery is continuing to go really well. Thank you all so much for your love of last week's video, creating an Esther swimsuit. This week I'm creating even more swimwear and I'm finally jumping on the Barbie movie bandwagon. Yes, I'm going to create something inspired by the latest Barbie movie and it's going to be based on this swim dress. And to do that, I'm grabbing one of the patterns that I featured on a recent video here on the channel. I'll pop a card above. It is Simplicity 8139. So this week, my friends, we're going to do something that we haven't done too much of on the channel yet, and that is pattern modification, which is something I really, really love doing. I've been absolutely sewing up a storm the last few weeks because as soon as I was able to, I was right back on that sewing machine. And actually, one of the things I've made is this Charm Patterns waterfall dress. And I documented the entire making process over on my Minerva sewing blog. I'll make sure I pop a link to that in the description box. But without further ado, grab a cup of my friends. Let's get to some creating. Do you fancy a cup of leaves? Oh, I think you do. Have a tea time. let's talk the pattern. Simplicity 8139. The outer swimsuit dress in this pattern is designed for a non-stretch woven fabric and I'm using a stretch fabric. So looking at the finished measurements and the stretch percentage of my fabric, I went with one size smaller than my actual measurements to allow for the stretch of the fabric. This should ensure that the garment won't end up too big. So having traced the relevant pattern pieces, pieces one to eight, I grabbed a highlighter and drew in the seam allowances. It's really important to do this before we do any adaptations so that we can see which portions of the pattern pieces are the actual garment and which are the seam allowances. My plan here is to create an easy pattern with the outer dress pieces cut on centre front and centre back folds. I also need to change the neckline to look more like Barbie's swim dress. So let's modify that pattern. Starting with the front bodice, I'm going to close the darts so that this swimsuit is super easy peasy to sew. Drawing and cutting along one dart leg to the pattern edge, I close the fullness and tape it in place. Strictly speaking, there aren't any rules to dart manipulation. And as you can see here, one dart I close along the dart leg and the other through the center of the dart. My general rule is to look at the pattern and assess the best way to balance it, my friends. Grabbing the lower front pieces, I highlight the side seam notches before matching and taping them in place at those notches. I trace the seam allowance line from the lower piece before cutting along this line to remove the overlapping piece. Tracing paper is perfect to use here so that you can see all those seam allowance lines and marks that we need to adapt and modify. The 
This overlapped piece then gets attached along the side seam, retaining the skirt's fullness while creating a one-piece pattern. The upper bodice piece is then attached to the skirt piece, aligning the closed bust dart to the notch at the top edge like so. To enable us to cut this piece on the fold, the centre front needs to be a straight edge. To create this straight edge, I grabbed my gridded ruler to create a new straight centre front like so. Any excess I cut off from this fold line is then added to the side seam. Remember to true your pattern lines like I'm doing here and add seam allowances around your pattern pieces. Moving on to that neckline, to make the pattern strappy like Barbies, I'm removing the strap by drawing in a style line up and across from the underarm like so. Now for the two outer back pieces, I again note the notches, aligning them and sticking the pieces together in place. Smoothing out the pattern pieces, I draw in the seam line from the lower piece before removing the overlapping section and attaching it to the side seam to keep the skirt fullness and make a one piece back pattern. I then remove the strap in the same way as for the front, drawing in a new style line, before then repeating the same steps as for the front to make the centre back straight to allow us to cut the piece on the fold. Now onto the lining pieces. Beginning with the front bodice piece, once again I closed those darts. For the lower lining pieces, I'm also removing the darts to make this the easiest swimsuit I've ever made. For the front piece, I'm measuring the dart fullness before transferring it to the side seam.
The upper piece is then taped to the bottom piece. Et voila! Taking the modified outer front piece, I walk my seams, allowing me to transfer the new neckline to the lining piece. And finally, the back lining. Once again, I'm measuring the dart and transferring its fullness to the outer seams. This time, dividing it between the two edges to keep the piece balanced. Grabbing my outer back piece, I'm once again walking those seams matching the pieces along the waistline so I can transfer the new neckline and the pattern is complete. And after some helping pause from my Luna, my pattern looks like this. Before I got to cutting out, I wanted to create those gorgeous little scallops at the edge of Barbie's swimsuit. Luckily, the gorgeous poly stretch gingham that I've chosen does not fray, so I can literally cut out the shape, no need to worry about facings. Lazy seamstress? Moi? Never. To create the scallops, I measured what my finished hemline would be to find out how wide I wanted each of my little scallops to be before creating a little template that I could trace around at the hemline. And then it was finally time to get cutting out. I cut out the outer skirt in the gingham fabric and the inner swimsuit layer in both the gingham and swimsuit lining fabrics. I had far too much fun pattern matching the gingham checks on this gorgeous fabric. For straps, I cut out two 18 inch by three inch rectangles from my gingham fabric and also from some basic cotton to stabilize the straps so that they don't stretch out over time. Beginning with the lining fabric, I started the sewing of this swim dress by pinning and sewing the centre front and centre back seams using a zigzag stitch throughout and sewing with the seam allowance from the original Simplicity pattern, 5 eighths of an inch. And then the side seams. followed by the crotch seam. Grabbing the gingham lining pieces, I pinned and sewed them together at the centre back and centre front seams, leaving the side seams open for now. Then it was time to attach the gingham inner lining layer and skirt layer together at the side seams. To do this, I firstly pin all the pieces together at the side seams. The skirt pieces face right sides together, with their respective lining pieces facing right side down onto the corresponding skirt piece like so. Now, 
Then the side seams are sewn. And then the crotch seam. Now for those straps. Placing them right sides together and pinning and then stitching all along the length using a straight stitch here as I don't want the straps to stretch out. And then it's time to trim the seam allowances, turn those straps right side out and after a good press, wonderful. Next up it's that neckline seam. Placing the lining right sides together with the outer skirt layer, I pin all around the neckline, attaching the straps at the back of the suit at the same time and leaving a gap for the straps at the front so that I can fit them and decide on a finished length. I then understitched the neckline on the lining side, catching the seam allowance in the stitching. This ensures that the lining stays inside the suit and gives you a lovely crisp neckline edge. All that's left now my friends is to insert some elastic into the legs and my swimsuit will be all finished. That's right, it's reveal time. And just as I was getting ready to shoot the reveal, we were blessed with this. The perfect weather for ducks. Hopefully I will be able to shoot some captures of me in the suit in the next few days before uploading, but just in case, take a look. I love how this project turned out and I've already got plans to add a back seam into the skirt layer so that I can add a zip at centre back and use this pattern with woven fabrics too. It's incredibly flattering and after all the drafting is done the sewing part comes together incredibly quickly. Barbie's suit also has a little bow to one side of the waist which I decided against but if you want to create one, then check out my video on how to create vintage inspired belts, which just so happens to have a tutorial on how to create bows. And there's a card above. But until next week, my wonderful friends, take care. Bye.